If you've been following along with these videos, you'll know that we've kind of sorted out the movement, we've sorted out the animations, we've sorted out the bullets, even added gravity to the bullets to make it look old fashioned. One of the things that we didn't solve yet is actually one of the biggest problems we've had so far. And that problem is a sticky platform. Now what that means is, every time the monkey jumps and kind of goes near a platform, he's allowed to stick to that platform. And actually this problem is a lot worse because if we just time our jump so that the side of the monkey touches a platform, we can actually get our monkey to stick like a wall climbing game. And even using the up key, use it as a platform to jump, which is a terrible way for our platform game to behave. So we're going to solve that with a really simple set of blocks. Let's go back to our stencil. I'm in our monkey, in the events, and I've gone all the way back to one of our beginners videos where we had the touching floor. Now, if you remember from that video, every time that monkey hits anything that's a tile, touching floor is set to true. And if you remember back to those videos, the monkey is only allowed to jump when touching floor is true. What that means is when the monkey is touching or standing on a tile, you're allowed to press the jump button and then the monkey will jump. And of course, while the monkey is in the air, touching floor is set to false, meaning you can't jump again and again. So every time the monkey touches a tile, touching floor is set to true. And that's where our problem is, because if we go back to our game, when our monkey touches a tile, touching floor is set to true. And in this case, the monkey is touching a tile. You can see that his hair is touching the tile. Equally, when I jump up on the side, you can see that the monkey is touching the tile. So what we need to do is tell Stencil which part of the monkey should touch the tile or the floor or a platform to set touching floor to true. And what we've done here, it's a little bit long, but you'll get the idea, is we're going to stick an if. And what that if is, if the left side of the actor, the right side of the actor, or the top of the actor is hit, set touching floor to false. That means now left, right and top of the actor no longer make touching floor true. We're going to come to this block in a second, which is a really cool block. So what we'll do is we're just going to test the game again, having put this code in. So just to remind you, if the left, the right or the top of our monkey hits a tile, touching floor is still false. What that means is I shouldn't be able to now Spider-Man and stick to the platforms any which way. So let's just test that out. Yeah, you can see I now can't stick to the platforms. And let's just try that. So we still have that problem. So we are still sticking. And this one took me a little while to figure out. It's not the fact that we're sticking. It's the fact that I've still got my finger pressing down on left. So the monkey is trying to run forward. The platform itself isn't going anywhere. Therefore, the monkey just kind of sticks to the platform. As soon as I let go of my left or my right, you can see that the monkey slides down. But again, this is not good behavior. What we actually want is the monkey to hit the platform. And if he's not jumping on top of the platform, we really want him to bounce off the platform. That's way more realistic. So let's go and see how we solve that. And what we say here is if the left side of the actor or the right side of the actor hits anything in the tiles group, we take X velocity. Now you're going to have to think back to all the videos that we did. X velocity was how we moved left and right. So what happens here is we set X velocity to whatever X velocity is right this second times minus one. Now timesing minus one is a really cool way in programming of taking a value and just flipping it to the other side. What that means is if I'm going left, it will immediately bounce me to the right. And if I'm going right, it's going to bounce me to the left. Now, the cool thing is if I keep my left or my right pressed, X velocity will go back to its normal value, which is either going right or left. It's better if I just put that code in and show you. And we'll test that game right now. So let's have a look. So the stickiness we've solved. And now let's see what happens if we bounce off the side. And you can see 
that's a much better behavior. So if I try to jump into the side and keep pressing left, the monkey just kind of bounces off. And it's it's far nicer to see the character bouncing rather than sticking like Spider-Man to the side of a tile. So in this respect, this game is acting much more like a platform game should. And I must say it's a lot nicer to play like this because it's really hard to now cheat just by sticking to the side and pressing jump. Just to recap, we simply went to our touching floor, just added two new little events in there to our very simple set touching floor to true just to take care of our left, right and top so that it didn't affect touching floor. And then we flipped the velocity, the X velocity with a minus one so that we bounce off the sides. Now, if you're wondering where these blocks come from, the left side and right side, that's really simple. You go into your blocks over there and it's the collisions tab and you have your top, left, bottom and right. Now these blocks are really useful if you're designing a, a Mario style game. And let's say your character can jump on top of another character to kill them, but not if he runs into the left or the right of them. This is how you would take care of that. So I think you'll agree that this game is starting to look a lot nicer and starting to behave much more like an arcade game because I can kind of run around. I can't cheat as much. I can't stick to walls. I can't jump up and stick my head to platforms. So it's starting to act like a really cool game.